Hi and welcome to third grade Modigliani project and today we are going to be looking at creating our very own Modigliani style self-portrait. Now the tools you're going to need today are going to be some uh, Crayola washable markers, a pencil, maybe an eraser, and eventually some water and some paint. So right now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw our Modigliani face. Now you have your paper. I need you to check one side is furry, one side is not. The smooth side, you're going to put your name on it, and the rough side is what we're going to draw on. So we're going to start by drawing our face. So he starts with a U shape to give the outline of a face. Now, um, I'm leaning really hard so you can see it. You're not going to do that. Now I'm gonna put in some hair. Next, I'm going to put in my ears. Can't forget our ears. Next, I'm going to put in the long, small, skinny, neck almost like a giraffe and as you remember he liked this because it reminded him of African masks and Egyptian sculpture. Now I'm going to put in some shoulders and they go all the way down. I'm now going to go back and do the face and he liked these almond shaped eyes. Almost looked as if they were staring at you and his nose is like an L shape and his lips, easy to do, two little mountains, happy smile, and half a melon. Now we just need a collar here. I'm going to give my person a collar just for their neckline. And that's it. Now the final thing is putting in the grid. So I'm going to start about halfway on my paper and I'm going to draw a line. And I'm going to imagine it went through the body all the way to the very end. Now I'm going to divide this section in half and draw an ima line all the way down until I hit my drawing. And I'm going to do the same here. And I'm going to imagine it's going through the hair and back down this way. This shows us that the lines are behind our person. Now I am going to draw some horizontal lines and I am not going to go through the neck, go behind it. I'm not going to make these squares too big, but I don't want them too small. So I'm going to give them a good distance, making sure I'm equal on the opposite side. As I said, I'm imagining I'm going through the person. I think maybe a small one down here. There we go. And that is now ready for me to start choosing my colors to start coloring the background.